Hi, I'm Ragna Bigda, and um, I'm from Sweden, Stockholm, and this is what's in my bag. I'm going to start with my putters, and I use the 300 plastic, the PA4s, and I prefer them. I do throw the PA ones, but I prefer to putt with the PA fours because I can use them at longer distances and short distances. I can throw them Anheuser, Heiser, and they just do pretty much exactly what you want them to do. So it's all your fault if you miss, and it's all your fault if you make it. Um, I throw with them too, but I prefer the 400 plastic. I throw with them, and I also have the PA two. What differs them in my bag is that the PA4, I use it for either tight wooded shots where I want it to kind of get up and it'll come back in the end, but just that tight technical shot, you don't have to put hardly anything behind it. Just pretty much throw it exactly like you want it, it'll obey. And when I use my PA2, I put a lot more power behind it. Usually I try to Anheuser it and let it come back or I'll throw um, uh, like a power hyzer. I'll put a lot of power behind it, it'll still stick with me. I use as a mid-range, my main mid-range is M4. I got two different ones, basically they're just, I've used them for a different amount of time, so they're just a little bit different beat in. The pink one I'm holding here is my oldest one, and I use that just like my PA4 400s, for really tight wooded shots, very controllable. Uh, you can either hyzer it and let it just rise to a straight line, or if you want to anhyzer it, it's gonna just keep that steady line the whole way through. It won't really cut, it'll just an easy anhyzer the whole way. Or I bring out my one that I haven't really been throwing as much with, and that one I can hyzer it, it'll get back up and it'll come back and land in the hyzer or I'll throw it an Anheuser, it'll just flatten out in the end. So, definitely a key to my game. And then I like the M3. I use this one for open shots mostly, um, just under 300 foot, maybe between 250 to 80, I'd say. I usually do meters, so it's a little bit difficult for me to go uh, say, but about uh, 80 meters. So I'll use this one and I can put a lot of power behind it and throw it completely flat. It'll just fade a little bit in the end or throw it loser and you can throw it with the Anheuser. It'll come back real nice. So it's very controllable and you can put a lot of power behind it, which is nice in the open shot. When it's a little bit windier, I threw the M2 and I like it because you can pretty much put how much power you want behind it. Either throw it flat, hyzer, anhyzer. If you throw it anhyzer, it'll come back. A hyzer will just hold that line the whole way through, or you throw it flat, it'll come back. So it's super easy to control, and it's really reliable when it's windy. The fairway drivers, I'll start with the The F3, I've kind of beaten in a little bit, and I like it, so I'm definitely gonna have to put a fresh one in. When I have a fresh one, I will use that, kind of like I use my M2. I'll throw it at Anheuser and let it come back. I put a lot of power behind it and throw it about 300 foot easily, if not more. Um, and you don't really have to do a lot. You just put, you have to go get it, put a lot of power behind it and let it fly. This one that's beaten in, I can throw dead flat. It's, I just throw it completely flat. It'll go crazy flat. It'll just, it's amazing. Um, I use the F7, and like most people use the F7, I like this one because it flips up. It'll still come back, so if you hyzer it, it'll flip up and come back, especially really good for wooded shots. If you throw it at Anheuser, it'll hold the Anheuser the whole way through. So I'll use it for long M4 shots, pretty much. I have the F5, which I throw dead flat, long, straight, beautiful disc. You can't really get much better than this one. Um, you can throw it wooded, open, short, long, anything. Just fly straight and it'll come back. If you don't put a lot of power behind it, it will come back, but it's, it won't cut. It'll just fade nicely in the end. Um, I use 
pretty much all the drivers we have, starting with the D4. Uh, the D4 I use for long shots, real long shots, especially when it's open. You can just Anheuser it, let it rise, and just fly and come back. You'll get distance you've never had before. You'll get out of this disc just by swapping this disc, not practicing or changing my technique. I got an extra 40 meters out of it, so 100 foot um, as a maximum distance compared to the disc I threw before, which is a huge difference for my game. I've always thrown far, but without the power, you don't have to put hardly any power behind it. It'll just go. My main one, I'd say, is the D3. This one flies far. I just have to put a little bit more power behind it. It will, either I can throw it, throw it flat. It'll go flat, it'll fade in the end, and just very controlled. Or I'll Anheuser it, it'll come back. It's very reliable, very easy to figure out what it's gonna do. Uh, the way you throw it, that's just how it's gonna be. And it comes back, and it's, Great disc to have as your main driver, especially, I throw about 400 foot, that's my maximum distance approximately, and it's just a great disc for whoever throws about that power, because it's just super reliable, especially if you're out there with nerves or if you feel insecure, if you just pick this one up, it's not going to do a lot of fancy things, it's just going to do exactly what you throw it. That's my most overstable disc in my bag right now. I got the D2, the 400G. Uh, this one is kind of flat, which I like it. They do have them kind of domey. I know some of the guys like them domey. I like mine flat. This one I use when it's windier, or for example, if I want to throw a long S curve, because you can put this thing on a pretty good Anheuser and it's going to fall out and just keep going and fall back. I like this, when I first started using this, I used this only in wind, but as my game developed, I really enjoy this disc as for just long shots in the open field or pretty much long shots. And it flies far, even though I never really had a disc this overstable that's, that I don't lose out on distance. Usually picking a more overstable disc for me has been sh you know, shaving off my distance. But with this one, I still get the distance I get out of the D3 with it. And the D3 and the D2, I don't get a lot less distance than the D4. We're talking a few feet, but it's just, watch it fly on that Anheuser line and come back, you'll get good distance out of it. You'll see those par four holes and you'll get your birdie. It's, I love it. That's what I have in my bag as of right now. And it, it works for me.